So what is stopping flow? What exactly stops flow in our opinion? So let's talk about this, right? What stops flow? Sudden changes in work priorities, right? Previously unplanned work, previously hidden work that has now become unavoidable. And the definition for that is technical debt. You have context switching, you're working on a story, then suddenly you jump to customer work, then suddenly you jump to technical debt. Size of your work also matters. You know, your stories are all not of the same size. Then there is a lot of discovery, business analysis, sales, customer success. That is also involved in the life of developers slash engineers slash managers, which all of this is contributing to this, to this flow getting stalled. Now, the fun fact is there is only a finite amount of capacity that is available. Be it a sprint, be it a week, be it a month. No matter what you do, there's only a finite amount of capacity that's available, depending on your team size, right? And you can notice this beautiful, uh, you know, diagram that's put together, right? Like, I, I love this picture for this, right? So you have unmet business goals, so you kick off more projects. These projects conflict with other projects that we already have. These projects lead to more work in progress, essentially, basically leading to delays in completion. And then which again go back to, you know, your business goals are not being met.